appreciate always appreciate you coming, especially late night tonight and five degrees outside. Um, I thought we were want to congrat our crowd was awesome. Students, even though school doesn't start till tomorrow, were loud. Our band, I thought it was a great environment, make the rack a tough place to play. I'm proud of these guys. We played a terrific basketball team uh, on both ends of the floor. They're one of the best defensive teams in the league, and they have some explosive offensive players. And Coach Tim does an unbelievable job. So I thought a great, great team win for us tonight. So we're really pleased. Steve, what, what does it mean to this team to get Eugene back? Well, I mean, I, I didn't know Gene was going to be playing today, um, but it was nice to have you know, he's a veteran guy. Obviously, you know, you're seeing what he brings uh, on many levels, defensively, offensively, rebounding. Um, you know, he allows us to do a lot of different things versatility-wise. And, and quite honestly, you know, it's a six-week injury. You know, no one else, who, you know, he rehabbed relentlessly, you know, to get back. And, you know, again, before the game today, I didn't know I would have him. And then he said, Coach, I'm ready to go. And then I... Didn't expect to play him that many minutes. Just thought, you know, get him, get him up and down a little bit, get back into his feel for the game. But he did a really good job. It was hard to take him out. What was the process as far as you knowing if and when he'd be available in general or tonight? Yeah, I don't. You know, I, I, you know, Rich tells me. You know, it was, you know, on Rich and Gene. So I didn't expect to have him, but uh, it was a nice bonus before the game when they said, you know, Gene said, I want to try it. You know, I want to play. So a uh, tip of the hat to him, but it was a great team win today. I mean, Montez, Gio was great in the second half. We turned the ball over twice in the first half. Obviously, we had turnover problems. We, we adjusted in the second in the second half. We did a really good job. I thought when they threw different looks at us, we, we did a really good job of attacking and executing. And these guys are getting better. Uh, I think you saw Miles today, too, come into his own a little bit. Miles Johnson is going to be a real good player for us. So, But we got contributions from everybody, and uh, that's what we needed tonight to win, win against a really good Nebraska team. Steve, did they grow up a little bit just being able to survive some of the runs that Nebraska had in the good Nebraska team? You know, I think, you know I, think, I think they did, and we finished the game tonight. You know, we had some runs the other night. We had chances. And they made two big threes down the stretch. This time we made free throws. We made some big plays. Um, these young guys are getting better and better and you know I like when Gio takes charge he was running some plays down the stretch he coach I got this one coach I got that one then I like in the huddles when Ted says to me coach you can't guard me you know I, li I like you know I like that feedback from s some some of these guys too you could tell they're growing growing in their basketball and, and growing in their effort which is a great you know gr great job offensively too today we took better shots in the second half we had good shot selection you know so it was a Again, good, good day for us. That team has some players on the NBA scouts' radar, 11 scouts here tonight. How did you guys keep them out of the lane pretty much most of the night? Um, you know, again, it was team defense. You know, these guys did a real good job, and I thought we did a great job on Palmer. He's one of the lead scorers, and I know he scored 22. Um, but, you know, I think we did a good job of keeping him, you know, out of the lane because he's explosive. Watson's explosive. Roby's explosive. You know, Copeland's a problem. You know, so they have some really, really good offensive players. And Allen's a good player, too. He'll be their leading scorer next year when, when those seniors leave. Um, so we did a great job team-wise. And I think when we started to take care of the ball, that really helped our defense, too. They weren't in transition as much. You, 11 turnovers in the first half, two in the second half. Just how do you make such a quick, like a drastic switch there. Well, I just think the guys locked in and, and they did a great job of making sure we got a shot up. You know, we were still in the game in the first half and I said that at halftime. I said, we didn't play great basketball in the first half. We turned it over a zillion times and we're still right here in this game if we could just take care of the ball and they did a great job. Two turnovers in the half and that team leads the conference in steals and they're one of the best defensive teams too. So, um, you know, they make teams do that and we had a great, you know, great second <coughs> half taking care of them. Can you take, take us through your pregame mindset and when you knew you were going to go, what you told them, and what you're, what you're thinking when you get, you're stepping out there? Um, <clears throat> it started from yesterday. Uh, I practiced at the end of I joined practice late, just trying to get a feel of it. And then this morning, me and Rich did a bit of treatment. And then I came on the court and like two hours prior to the game just to run and feel, feel up the knee up. And it felt good. And then I set up my play. And then that's what happened. I know before you came in, you were off in the corner, kind of running. Was that something you had to you weren't warm yet, or had to keep it warm the whole time? I tried to keep it warm the whole time. Uh, I felt like every time I sat down, like in practice yesterday, I felt like it just kept that tight on me. So I just felt like running, keeping it, keeping it loose. That's all.
Steve, they were up, I think it was 31-18, uh, and you guys went on that 15-0 run in the final five minutes of the half. How important was that? In, I mean, it's just important. To not yeah. kind of let the game get away from them. Yeah, I mean, the game is a game of runs, and we've been down like that before. Just, you know, hang in there and stop turning the ball over. That was our episode where we really, you know, turned the ball over to give them that kind of lead. So, um, you know, these guys hang tough, and... You know, they believe in each other, and, you know, our defense is getting better. Our defense is getting better, too, and, uh, you know, I think that's part of it, but our offense today was good. I mean, we got to the free throw line. We didn't take as many threes. I thought we were really in a good place, and if we could have done a better job not turning the ball over, you know, we could have put up a really good number offensively. Coach, how big was uh, rebounding in this game, especially in the game with uh, <coughs> And I, yeah, I thought we made big, big rebounds down the stretch. You know, we're a good rebounding team, and I love when our guys go, go up and get it. I thought, you know, Miles made some big blocks too down the stretch just to kind of make sure they didn't get to the rim. So, um, yeah, some great minutes, you know, by these guys, and, and a great job focusing on on that backboard. Thank you, everyone. One more. I was gonna say, Miles, I think he scored eight of the final 14 points. And he did it with four fouls. I mean, how impressive was that for him? Yeah, you know what? He's got a really good feel. He's, he's a good player. He's getting more and more confident. But I liked him on both ends of the floor today. You know, I thought he made some passes, too, that were, you know, he's a really good passer. Kind of saw that tonight. He's got a really good feel around the basket. And I thought he was aggressive to score, and we needed all his points. But I thought his defense was really good. Those are tough guys to guard for, for uh you know, guys like Miles, they're perimeter fives and perimeter fours. Those are tough guys uh, to guard, so I was real proud of him. But knew he'd get in some foul trouble too because they attack. Steve, I think Tim Miles uh, said that uh, Eugene epitomizes your team toughness and playing through pain. You, I'm assuming you agree with that. Well, I think all these guys, you know, they really they're getting better, and you know, Gene gives you, you know, a lot. And he's the leading um, charge guy in the league one of those guys, but, you know, I think Gio down the stretch gave him the ball to make plays. He made them. I think Tez getting better and better here. Um, you know, I think Miles is getting tougher, but, you know, Gene's a leader for us. He's a captain. He's our most experienced guy. So having him back tonight was, you know, was, was a big was a big lift for us. Were you pleased with the amount of three-point shots you guys shot, um, not just chucking them up? At the... Yeah, you know, I thought they did a good job following the game plan. They're the best team in the league at defending three. So they do the best job. So it's not a great game to take threes because they do such a good job. And I thought we, st we stayed the course with that and took the right amount. I thought we had a couple good looks. We, we took a couple bombs in the first half that were way out of our range. But for the most part, I thought we did a really good job of attacking. Thank you very much.